let's talk about the U.S. dollar, which is hovered above multi-level lows against its major peers on Tuesday, weighed by subdued Treasury yields ahead of the U.S. Federal Reserve's policy decision this week. Now, trading in currencies was largely subdued ahead of this week's Federal Reserve two-day meeting ending tomorrow, where no change to policy is expected. Now, let's take this up for more insights with Uchena Menis, a global markets analyst and managing director at Harris Menis Asset Management. Good evening, uh, Uchena. We uh, thank you very much for coming through on the program. Thank you for having me, Bob. Great. Thank, thank you me. very much. Uh, what's the trading theme for the U.S. dollar this week with outlook on the Fed meeting tomorrow? I think, we are, as you've rightly mentioned, we're seeing a bit of uh, bullishness. Uh, we we maybe too early to tell um, if this is just a technical correction, basically, or um, market participants are sort of anticipating um, some sort of shock in terms of the Federal Reserve's comments um, going into tomorrow. Um, but yes, I think um, tomorrow might give some sort of precursor indication as to what the Fed would look to do in subsequent meetings. So if there is any form of indication that they might look to taper towards the end of the year as regards to the quantitative easing, um, then, then, then that will be a shock to the market. And I think that's what we are getting to see with this um, uh, bit of bullishness we're seeing in the greenback. Also. Yes. Well, I checked a short while ago. The dollar index is around 90.12, up slightly against some of its peers. But what is the uh, near uh, to mid-term outlook on the Naira side against the uh, major international currencies such as the dollar, the euro and the pound? Yeah, I think um, we're still in a very, very difficult position as a country here in Nigeria. And on, on, on the basis of that, um, um, we don't exactly get the direct translation of, of uh, um, should I say, developed market currencies, the G7 currencies against the, um, uh, uh, our Nigerian Naira, given the fact that we have our inherent risk that um, is quite significant, um, really. Um, so um, I, I can say for us, we'll still have a, a sort of... Um, weakness going into this year until we see a very, very, should I say, significant rebounds in business and economic activity and also having um, um, uh, um, the price of Brent trading um, north of $70 per barrel. That, in a way, can just help with uh, providing the, um, should I say, the optimistic uh, um, vantage point to market uh, participants from the foreign, um, uh, uh, um, should I say, foreign portfolio investment um, um, angle and we can see more inflow into into the country. We just have a lot of microeconomic, uh, should I say, um, downside risk right now. That really um, having a stronger US dollar might not be very good for us right now. And just not just us, um, even other frontier and emerging market space. Now, now that you mentioned the role of oil and you mentioned oil prices, where is the role of oil, the global oil market demand and oil prices right now in the currency play? Um, I think I think um, oil pricing in itself um, um, is in that place whereby um, should I say traders of this oil uh, of this commodity are sort of anticipating that we are just sort of shifting from um, the pandemic into um, going into the pre-COVID um, um, level in terms of business and economic activities. However, as you can see from uh, um, the meeting today, um, 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 the block is still very, very cautious because uh, one, of, uh, one of the top consuming countries like India is facing a significant, uh, should I say, third or fourth wave right now. And um, it, it just shows how precarious and how uncharted we are in this territory that you can have um, risk just magnified into something really, really, really significant. So right now, in terms of oil prices and in terms of market participants, it's still a cautious outlook. Uh, we need to be in a place whereby we are so, um, we can we can confidently say we are out of the crosshair of this mm -hmm. pandemic before um, we start to um, uh, um, um, work with in that regard. Yeah, well, one, one of the big news on the market street is Bitcoin is rising again, like the phoenix. What's the driving force? Well, so I've mentioned this to you several times. There's no fundamentals here. It's just a very high speculation, really, a speculative activity we're seeing in the market. And um, at this point, every single time we get um, uh, um, some sort of, um, should I say, um, um, trading lower, some downside pressure, um, it's, it's, uh, it's now a saying in the online trading community that it's just an opportunity to buy the tape. So um, I, I can categorically see what 
driving fundamentally it is for for this um, um digital currency um but we are just seeing that um from a technical perspective every time you get that um, um trade lower pressure you get um, you see it as an opportunity for for um, um retail traders to just mm. jump in mm. What what news item or development are you watching closely, Uche, uh, with the likely impact on financial assets? Just to wrap it up, uh, I, I look at the risky asset boss. When I majorly look at the risky asset, I really would want to see and check the body language and the unsaid things from the Federal Reserve going into tomorrow. I think that can really guide the way uh, I sort of look at the portfolio and how I sort of um, go because right now, currently right now um, I'm, I know we're in a very precarious position in terms of um, asset prices so I'm being cautious but um, if we get an idea of what the Federal Reserve is looking to do that can help me um, adjust into um, um, how I put, um, allocate um, in my portfolio in terms of high yield in asset and the and a very conservative asset. Yeah, by this time tomorrow evening, we'll be listening to Jerome Powell, by the way. So you just got about yeah. 24 hours to wait. Thank you so much for your time this evening on the show. Uchin Amin is Global Market Analyst and Managing Director of Harris Minutes Asset Management here.